Welcome to Mirror Domain Stranger Things Season 3, Chapter 7, The Bite. Yes, Stranger Things, Chapter 7, The Bite. Eleven and the others, uh, okay. <laughs> they determined that, the, yeah, the monster's chasing after them because uh, she was the one who previously, you know, she closed the gate in, in season two, but I'm still, I'm still not sure. Okay. So are they suggesting that the monster only exists because the gate is now being cracked open a little bit? I, I just, it's not very clear and I'm just curious. So if they close the gate, then that means the monster will go away. Is that, is that it? But then how is it there when it was closed, right? They're saying that it was only there in small form and it was only able to manifest itself more as the gate gets wider. So if it closes again, then it'll just go back down to the small minuscule size. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> let's just continue on. Um, okay. They, uh, they flee to this drug store or this shopping mall and they try to address the fact that Eleven's leg is all messed up, right? And it was kind of okay because we got to see a little bit of a, a nice scene between Mike and Eleven where they're just talking to each other, trying to gauge how they feel about each other again, realizing that the circumstances that kind of broke them up wasn't necessarily all under their control. I like that part. I like that sensitivity about it. Um, okay, what else happened? Uh, okay, Dustin and Erica get Steve and Robin out of the out of the uh, laboratory area where they're being uh, held captive, and they move them to a movie theater in the mall. So I'm guessing, okay, they they finished their journey there, and it was kind of fun to see them get into a movie theater where they're playing. Back to the Future, <laughs> which is their first time. But I also saw some other names that were on the theater listing there. I'll talk about that, which caught my eye. And Dustin tries to contact them through the walkie-talkie, but his walkie-talkie battery's low. Hey, <laughs> whatever. So, uh, basically, Eleven is trying to use her powers, and she f she can't find, can't find them, so... Uh, she basically sort of hears about a movie and then I guess the, the leg starts bleeding a little bit more and, um, Dustin and Erica go back to try to find, uh, those two that they left in the, in the theater and they're, they're gone. And at least to one of my favorite scenes, you know, Robin and Steve, they, uh, they basically go into the bathroom and throw up. And before that, we get to see some other movies that were playing there. I think one of them was Return to Oz, which was, was, was really cool. I like seeing that. Um, but yeah, anyway, they go into the bathroom and they throw up and they start talking to each other, which is one of my favorite scenes in the entire season so far. And it's just a dialogue scene between two actors and it's really well acted. Basically, he reveals to her that he's got feelings for her and then she subtly reveals to him that she doesn't like guys. And you would think that they would try to play into that more, but he kind of accepts it. And it's kind of like, that's refreshing to see. That's refreshing to see. He doesn't immediately snap out at her. He kind of accepts it and goes, the guy who plays Steve, he did a phenomenal job with that role. I think uh, this was really a, a, a standout for him. Joe Keery. Yeah, he did a fantastic job. And, and her, her too, the, uh, the person who plays, uh, Robin, uh, she did, she did fairly good too. Maya Hawk. Maya Hawk. Uh, one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, I like that part. And then, of course, we get to the fairgrounds where they're trying to, f you know, Hopper and Joyce are trying to find, um, the kids, right? And they tell Alexi and Murray, who have some great scenes together, they tell them to step put, but they don't. They get out and they walk around, and Murray's teaching Alexi about the, uh, you know, American culture and stuff like that. And that was really well done. I like that stuff. And eventually, the Terminator guy, the, the bad Russian guy, 
sees Hopper and they have like this huge fight in this fun house, which was really kind of creepy. I like that fun house. It, it kind of taps into that, that nightmarish thing that you have sometimes where you're going through different rooms and stuff and it just keeps on going on and on. I like that. It was very well done. It was a fight scene. But it also leads to one of the tragic things that happened in this episode. Uh, that Russian guy kills Alexei and, ah, uh, he gets, he gets shot. And Murray's kind of like standing there, but the Russian doesn't recognize Murray because he's not looking for him. And they're just standing there looking at each other. And you can tell that something really bad happened. And I felt it. I felt it here, man. It was kind of like, We've only known this Alexi character for a little bit, but he kind of, he kind of grew on you. You don't want to see him die, but, uh, they take him to the side of this, uh, one, uh, uh, trailer and basically Murray goes to look for help and he dies all by himself. And, and you're kind of like, that's sad. Wow. That was, that, that almost got me. It almost got me because you, you really, got attached to this Alexi character and I was I, I was kind of like rooting for him because you got to see him enjoy some of the things that we have in North America you know with fairs and such and crowds of people just enjoying themselves and having a good time I felt like that was great hmm yeah but anyway they uh they get uh notified that the kids are near the mall so uh, Hopper and Joyce and Murray head towards the mall where the kids all kind of converge to try to f save the Dustin and Steve from the monster that's after them. And just as the monster, or sorry, just about when these Russians are going to get to the kids, uh, Eleven gets there and throws a car there and, uh, <laughs> to crush them and yeah that's pretty much that episode it, it, it just kind of wraps itself up in a little bit of a cliffhanger because we know that okay now now we're getting to the final episode the big climax of this season and the bite chapter seven i thought it was fairly well done it was probably my second if not third you know no, it's probably my second favorite episode so far it's uh it's got to be an eight out of ten for sure it's directed by the Duffer Brothers, written by the Duffer Brothers. So there we go. Okay, you can see my previous episode right there, and you can see the next one, the final one, just right there. My name is James, and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.